everybody in our study got better. And not just better a little bit, a lot better. There's a lot of beauty in this world, and sometimes all it takes is just putting something different in your body. The number one impediment to academic success for college students is mental health. The number of students that are demonstrating symptoms of depression and anxiety are quite alarming. About 40% are reporting depressive symptoms, so there's an unmet need. I've been studying ketogenic interventions for about 30 years now. Right off the bat, I was very interested in how humans adapt to very low carbohydrate ketogenic diets. The results we were seeing in obesity and diabetes were extremely positive. We thought that it might also be helpful in the context of mental health. In our study, we wanted to see, is it feasible for young adults with depression to be on a ketogenic diet? The way we designed the study was a single arm study of college students with depression who are in treatment in the form of medications or counseling, or both. Additionally, they were going to then do a well-formulated, whole foods-based, nutritionist-supervised ketogenic way of eating. We also wanted to understand, are we having an impact on their symptomology? Are we affecting their physiology? Are we improving their metabolic health? So you could say there was a sort of a dual focus. We're looking at everything from depression symptoms to blood work to measure metabolic health to cognitive performance, body composition, using some very sophisticated methodologies, daily measures of ketone levels that tell us they're actually in ketosis, and as well as just some surveys to determine their global well-being. When participants first came onto the study, that we'd give them 10 full meals, and this really just served as a way for them to see what a, a ketogenic meal actually looked like and give them ideas of how they could actually structure their own meal for themselves in the future. Once they started to really understand what the diet looked like, how they could eat, what they enjoyed, they were able to really take it and run. It's clear we demonstrated feasibility. We were able to complete 16 subjects, and they all demonstrated nutritional ketosis, which we define as a level of ketones above 0.5 millimolar. We had such a uniform and robust decrease in depression symptoms across the entire cohort. We had individuals that were strong candidates for medications. Their depression symptoms improved where these students, under the guidance of trained professionals, didn't have to use medication. Everybody in our study got better. And not just better a little bit, a lot better. And that was complemented by improvements in other aspects of their metabolic health. Their insulin levels were lower, indicating that we were improving their insulin sensitivity. And we know insulin resistance is highly associated with depression. They all lost weight or maintained weight, and this was not a weight loss intervention. There was evidence of improved neurocognitive functioning, and there were also improvements in some of the surveys that we measured for global well-being. When I would get depressed, I would have a hard time showing up to my classes. In my personal life, I would cancel a lot of plans. I just kind of stopped functioning. After being on the diet for four weeks, I saw resolution of my depressive symptoms. They basically went away, which was super shocking. I didn't think that it was going to be that effective. Battling with depression was one of the hardest things I've had to deal with because it's affected every facet of my life, from friends to family to the school. After I was on the keto study, I found that I have a reason to survive and things to look forward to. And there's a lot of beauty in this world. And sometimes all it takes is just putting something different in your body. Nutrition is a big part of how you feel. How you eat affects how you feel. For individuals with depression, a well-formulated, properly supervised ketogenic diet can be a potential option for depression. The results are striking scientifically, but on a personal level, when you've impacted a person's life in such a profound way, it's incredibly rewarding when someone gets their life back because of a change in their diet.